Hi everyone, our lecture today is about anaphylaxis. So what is the anaphylaxis? Anaphylaxis is acute, life-threatening condition. It is type 1 hypersensitivity reaction, which is mediated by IgE antibodies. This condition could arise immediately or within a few hours or even up to 24 hours after exposure to antigen. This condition caused death within 10 to 15 minutes. This emergent condition could arise in our dental practice. So the dentist should know how to deal with this condition. First, we have to know the cause of this uh, condition. The cause of anaphylaxis in our dental practice is exposure of the patient to antigen. It is not occurred because the patient is afraid of from local anesthesia, for example, or the patient have emotional stress. No, it is not occurred because of that. But it occurred because the patient is exposed to antigen. So, what is the antigen in our dental practice? The antigen in our dental practice could be drugs like local anesthesia, penicillin, aspirin, or others. Also, it could be uh, latex from the gloves that used by the dentist. So after the patient is exposed to this antigen, it will lead to anaphylaxis. Now we have to know the pathophysiology of anaphylaxis. After the patient is exposed to this antigen, it will lead or end up with the mast cell degranulation and basophil degranulation. This leads to release of histamine and other vasoactive mediators. These mediators act on multiple systems like cardiovascular system, respiratory system, gastrointestinal tract, and the skin. When these mediators act on a cardiovascular system, it will increase vascular permeability and also this will cause vasodilation and also vascular loss of a fluid. There will be a shift of fluid from inside from the intravascular system to the extravascular system. This leads to hypotension and tissue edema. Also, these mediators act on the respiratory system by causing an increased contraction of the smooth muscle of respiratory system. Also, it causes respiratory edema. This explains why the patient feel difficulty in breathing. There are several signs and symptoms that uh, occur in patients with anaphylaxis. These include itchy uh, skin, rashes, and urticaria, and also the patient uh, will have flushing. Also, there will be difficulty in breathing and cardiovascular collapse. When the patient diagnosed with anaphylaxis, so the dentist should deal with this condition immediately. First, stop the treatment and remove anything that causes anaphylaxis, such as latex. Then call for emergency. Also assess the patient blood pressure, pulse rate, airway. Also give oxygen to the patient. If there is impairment of the respiratory system or cardiovascular system, then give epinephrine. There are two products of uh, epinephrine. The first is auto-injectable type of epinephrine. There, uh, it is uh, 0.3 mol of uh, epinephrine with a concentration of 1 to 1,000. This type of epinephrine usually given to the patient with history of anaphylaxis. It is injected in the thigh, which is the site for injection. It is safer and with less effect, with less side effects. Okay. Uh, also, uh, the second product is uh, the uh, epinephrine apples. The dose of epinephrine given to the patient depends on the age of the patient. If it is uh, if, uh, if the epinephrine sorry given to the adult patient above 12 years old, then give 0.5 mol of epinephrine with a concentration of 1 to 1,000. If uh, the patient is child from 6 to 12 years, then give 0.3 mol of epinephrine. If the, uh, the patient less than 6 years, then give epinephrine with 0.1 mol of epinephrine with a concentration of 1 to 1,000. 1,000, okay? The epinephrine will reverse the action or reverse the pathophysiology of anaphylaxis. 
it will cause an increase of cardiac contractibility and also it will cause relaxation of the smooth muscle of the respiratory system. Also, it will improve the condition of the patient and impair histamine release. If there is no improvement occurred to the patient, then re-inject epinephrine after 5 minutes. Uh, also, there are other medications that could be uh, given by the other emergency members, such as steroids and antihistamine. Okay, uh, now thank you all for your listening, and these are some references for our lecture.